In question one, we have to represent these two numbers that you see on the number line. The first number is seven by four and the second number is minus five by six. And we have to represent both of these on the number line. So let's start with the first part. In the first part, the number is seven by four. So you can think of it either as seven into one by four, or you can think of it as one plus three by four. So one plus three by four also gives you seven by four. So you, you can interpret seven by four in either of these uh, two ways, and that will help you to plot this number on the number line. Now let's draw a number line. So here's the number line I'm going to use to plot seven by four. Now, because the denominator of seven by four is four. So what we will do is we will divide each integer int interval, for example, between zero and one, between one and two and so on. We will divide each of these intervals into four equal parts. So if we do that, we will get these additional markings that I have drawn, which divide each integer interval into four equal parts. Now it's easy to plot seven by four. So as I said, seven by four can be interpreted either as seven times one by four. So you make seven jumps of one by four like this, and you reach here, this number. So this marking here, this marking here represents seven by four. The other way to do it is to interpret seven by four as one plus three by four. So we know that one plus three by four will lie between one and two, and it will be one plus three jumps of one by four. So starting from one, you make three jumps of one by four and you reach the same point. So this point here is the number. It represents the number seven by four. So that's part one. Now, similarly, let's do part two. In part two, the number that we have to represent is minus five by six. And we can interpret this as minus of five into one by six. So what we will do is we will make five jumps of one by six, but in the left direction to the left of zero. So that's how we will plot this number. So let's make a number line once again and uh, put integer, inte uh, mark integers on this number line. So I have marked zero, minus one and minus two. And now we see that the denominator of minus five by six is six. So what we need to do is we need to divide each integer interval uh, into six equal parts because the denominator is six. So when we do that, we will get these additional markings between each pair of adjacent integers, which divide each unit interval into six equal parts. Now to plot minus five by six, we start from zero and we make five jumps to the left, five jumps of length one by six. So starting from zero, we go one, two, three, four, and five. So this number here, this number represents minus five by six. So this is how you can solve question number one. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.